With the knowledge of how to connect cells in parallel and series, we can figure out how to arrange batteries to deliver a desired voltage, and in some cases make them last longer. Here's an example question. We're asked to use wires to connect these 12 volt batteries in such a way that we will get 36 volts from the arrangement. They must all be connected in series for the three 12 volts to add up to 36 volts. Series is positive to negative to positive to negative, etc. We'll connect a red wire to the positive terminal on this battery. And another wire from the negative terminal of this battery to the positive terminal of the second battery. Then another wire from the negative of the second battery to the positive terminal of the third battery. And finally, a black wire from the negative terminal of the third battery, like this. A voltmeter is connected so that its positive terminal is attached to the red wire and its negative terminal is attached to the black wire. In electrical circuits, red generally stands for positive and black for negative. The reading on the voltmeter will be 36 volts. We'll draw a schematic diagram to represent this arrangement of three 12 volt batteries. This corresponds to the first battery. You can see that the positive terminal of the first battery is connected to the voltmeter in both of these diagrams. And the negative terminal of the first battery is connected to the positive terminal of the second battery in both diagrams. This corresponds to the second battery. The positive terminal of this battery is connected to the negative terminal of the first battery in both diagrams. The negative terminal of the second battery is connected to the positive terminal of the third battery in both diagrams. And this corresponds to the battery on the right. The positive terminal of this battery is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery in both diagrams. And the negative terminal of this battery is connected to the voltmeter in both diagrams. And of course, the voltmeter in the schematic diagram will read 36 volts. Here is another example question. We're asked to use wires to connect these 12 volt batteries in such a way that we'll get 24 volts from the arrangement and have the batteries last as long as we can. We'll start by attaching a red wire to this terminal. We'll put the first two batteries in parallel, positive to positive and negative to negative. Putting two of the batteries in parallel will help make them last longer. In order to get 24 volts, we must put the third battery in series. We'll connect the negative terminal of the second battery to the positive terminal of the third battery. And then connect a black wire to the negative terminal of the third battery. Again, we connect a voltmeter to the wires like this. And the voltmeter will read 24 volts. The schematic diagram for this setup would look like this. If you study this, you will see that this part of the schematic represents the first two batteries in parallel with each other, positive to positive and negative to negative. The two 12 volt batteries in parallel will deliver 12 volts. This represents the third battery, the one in series with the other two. We see that the positive terminal of the first battery is connected to the voltmeter in both diagrams, and to the positive terminal of the second battery in both diagrams. The negative terminal of the first battery is connected to the negative terminal of the second battery in both diagrams. 
and the positive terminal of the second battery is connected to the positive terminal of the first battery and to the voltmeter in both diagrams. The negative terminal of the second battery is connected to the negative terminal of the first battery in both diagrams. And the negative terminal of the second battery is connected to the positive terminal of the third battery in both diagrams. The positive terminal of the third battery is attached to the negative terminal of the second battery in both diagrams. And the negative terminal of the third battery is attached to the voltmeter in both diagrams. This 12 volt arrangement of two batteries in parallel and this 12 volt battery in series with it will add up to provide a final voltage of 12 plus 12 or 24 volts.